Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all another Pokemon Sword and Shield OU Showdown Live for y'all today. So, as I'm recording, it's Friday, but you guys will see this tomorrow being Saturday. Um, so, uh, so yeah, the team I have for y'all today is going to be a, uh, it's going to be a team around, uh, Urshifu, um, Aquafina edition, the water edition, the Agua, <laughs> um, drip. Anyways, <laughs> going to be using that one, uh, and I'm going to be pairing it with some boom, with some boom offense in Blacephalon and Landorus. So before we get started with this live, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video. Um, letting me know, man, I know, I know I asked about explosion last time, so I'll make it like a little bit more, I guess I'll make it different. Um, I guess what's your favorite modern Pokemon for explosion? Like I know Lander, I know Landorus is the best one. That's the best explosion mon. Um, since you know, you just set up your SD and then you just boom on whatever you want. But like, I, I, I would like to know like what your favorite modern one is. Like there are a couple ones. There's Glalie as well, or Mega Glalie before, you know, Megas got destroyed. Um, let's see what else. Uh, that's all I can think of anyway. But, <laughs> but yeah, I like to know that in the comments below. Like, what's your favorite modern boomer? So, um, so yeah, in case you don't know about why Explosion is so weak, um, the reason why it's so weak, why it's so weak compared to like, um, or why it's so weak now, um, is because, you know, it got nerfed. Um, the move got cut in half to being 200 base power, and also it doesn't, you know, go, it doesn't hit your defenses anymore like it used to back in, back in Gen 4 and below. So, so yeah, Gen 5 was the start of it getting nerfed, and, uh, the move is just not as good as it used to be. Um, before it used to be like base 400 attack, um, and it would go into your defenses, so it could pretty much like break down a lot of mons. Um, so there are a lot of really good boomers back in Gen 4 and below. Like Gengar was a really was actually a very good boomer. Um, you had Gengar, you had Metagross um, for ADV, you had um, you had Cloyster. Like, there were a lot of good mons that could explode that could explode back then. Um, but now they just aren't as good, and they and they have more utility options now than they did in the past. So, so yeah, it was more of an it was more of a utility option than it was a uh, than it was you know how it is now. I mean, it still is that way, but you know it's just not as strong um, as it is now compared to last to, compared to like years ago. But anyways, going going into the team, we have Urshifu, Ru, or I mean we have Epo the Urshifu, we have Rudy the Blissifalum, we have Lon Lon the Landers, we have Mr X the Melmetal, we got Badger the Rillaboom, and we have Guts the uh, Garchomp. So Epo is going to be the choice band mon, going to have Surging, uh, Strikes, U-Turn, CC, and Jet. So this mon is meant to be like a early, or can be an early wall breaker. Um, Surging, surging Strike uh, hits quite a lot of the metagame. Of course, having to bar, having to deal with like Rocky Helmet mons like Corviknight, Garchomp. And even uh, Ferrothorn, so it's gonna it's gonna be tough to play around those two, but it's gonna come down to some predicting around them. So uh, so yeah, we got a U-turn for the Switch Initiative. Close combat beats down the Steel types, and also opposing your Shifu. And then you have Jet, which is gonna be there for uh, cleaning up in the late game. Uh, then we have Rudy. So Rudy is gonna be Rock and Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Explosion, and Flamethrower. So Fire Blast is great because again it cooks all the Steel types and even does quite a lot of damage to the Ground types as well. Got Shadow Ball, which is there to revenge kill Dragapult. Got Explosion, which is going to be there as a way to stop um, Volcarona from setting up. Uh, so we can actually stop it from, you know... I mean, when we outspeed it after it sets up, and then we can just boom it and kill it. So there's that. Um, so it's really good against setup mons like that. Got Flamethrower, which is going to be there for, you know, the consistent Flamethrower damage. And, you know, can also be really good in cleaning the late game as well. Once, every, once the uh, answer to this has been weakened. So then we have a Landorus. Landorus is going to be Rock and Rocks, SD, Earthquake, and Explosion. So this is going to be one of the, I mean, this is like the main Explosion mon. Um, explosion is rel is relatively free with Lando, and this Lando set is used on more of a, uh, it's used on more hyper offense teams. But I think you can actually use it outside of hyper offense, and it'll still do about the same thing. So yeah, this is going to be one of the rockers for the team as well. Get rocks up, and then you just SD on whatever mon comes in. You have Earthquake, which hits everything that's not a Lando or a, or a Zapdos or whatnot, and then you can just boom on whatever you want. Um, but you know you got to make sure you don't boom on like Dragapult. But no one predicts Explosion these days, so Earthquake is relatively is relatively free um, a lot of the time. 
So, uh, so yeah. Then we have uh, Melmetal. So Melmetal is going to be Rock and Protect, Toxic, um, High Horsepower, and Double Iron Bash. These ads, though, let me skip that. Oh, I can't even skip it. Okay, never mind. Anyways, um, Melmetal is going to be here just to scout for whatever my opponent's Scarf Mon could do. So if we fight something like Scarf Pult, or not Scarf Pult, um, Scarf um, Lele or Scarf Latios or whatnot, then we can just scout for whatever move they go for. And then, you know, proceed to uh, play around that. Or even just stay in any win, just Toxic, whatever comes in. Toxic is really good because I can catch stuff like Slow King, which is usually the best switch in for, for Melmetal. So we can just Toxic that. Got High Horse Power, which is there to hit Pex and also hit Heatran. And then we have Double Iron Bash, which is going to be there uh, to pretty much capitalize on everything else. So, uh, so yeah. We got Badger, which is going to be the sweeper for the team. So once everything's worn down, then Badger can pretty much sweep with S with an SD boosted grass Grassy Glide, Knock Off, or Super Power. Uh, Superpower is great because that catches Ferrothorn. Knockoff is great because that also catches um, Dragapult or whatnot on a Grassy Glide prediction. And also it just, you know, removes items as well, which is very, very handy. Especially for monster that boots, so they get chipped by the uh, by rock damage from uh, Lando. Um, and then Grassy Glide is more like the late game, you know, cleaning um, move. And also, you know, it's priority on this thing and just pressures a lot of mods, even resistant mods. And then lastly, we have Garchomp, which is going to, which is going to take advantage of pivoting. Because pivoting is a very good tool right now in OU, um, because again you just get so much momentum off off a uh, off a U-turn mon. So you want to have something like Garchomp as a way to punish those U-turns. Uh, since Garchomp has Rough Skin plus Rocky Helmet, that'll be able to punish again those U-turn mons again, punishing Corviknight, getting about like 20% or more on it. Actually, I think it's a little over 20%, like about 30-ish um, after U-turn. Um, little over 30 so you can punish those mons also can punish opposing or chief and can pretty much kill it outside of uh outside of the uh, grassy terrain um and uh yeah got rocks so it's gonna be my second rocker so i'm gonna get those rocks up on potential you know pivoting mons gotta endure just gotta endure just so that way garshop can live at least one hit potentially if they go for like u-turn or something i could just live the one hit get more damage on them and also this could help against uh against her shifu as well um, and then we have Earthquake, which is going to be there, again, to get the damage on most things. And also, even without investment, it can still do quite a lot of damage. And then Toxic is going to be there again to deal with Slow King and also just catches, like, other mons that could be an issue for the team. So that is going to be team. So anyways, let's dive in and let's get some games going, shall we? How are y'all doing, by the way? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty all right. Um, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. This is gonna be odd. We got a Kadabra. <laughs> I swear I'm not that low, guys. I swear I'm not. <laughs> I'm I'm only 1606, so only a hundred points, you know, above this guy. But still, that's that's pretty funny. I like the Kadabra. <laughs> I like the Kadabra. <laughs> so the Kadabra might be something interesting. Um, that is very funny. Uh, Kadabra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, hmm. Their team does not like Rudy. Rudy cooks this team up, so I'm very curious about how they're gonna play around this. I definitely like Rudy as a lead, so I'm leading it. I lose nothing by leading it, unless they have like Sash, um, Rillaboom, or not Sash Rillaboom, uh, Sash, Sash Kadabra. But Flamethrower is very free. Uh, Grassy does not kill me, but it gets very, it gets dangerously close. Um, it does about, Grassy Glide with a Life Orb does 69 to 82%. With the Choice Band, we can still live the hit, but, uh, we're gonna be taking a lot of damage, though. Um, so, yeah, we, I mean, we don't die. We don't die to it. Um, oh, snap, my bet. Um, <laughs> yeah, we don't die to it. I can flint through here. Um, they have to grassy again they are bandit as you can see but they die so you know what that's a very good trade on my end i like that trade a lot they don't have rocks either so this is very good for me um they're gonna go for bp i can probably go for um honestly i'm thinking about going or shifu and just clicking surging but that's not the play i wanted to do definitely better to go lando here probably chomp would have been better too uh, they go for bp that is life orb. Okay, that's fine. I can rock up here. Um, yeah, they can SD. It's still not that terrible. It's still not that terrible. 
Um, gonna go Chomp here. As terrain is gonna go off soon. They did a lot of damage to me. Um, okay, I gotta play very like safe around this, or try and save, play safe around this. Um, I'm gonna go into Rashifu now because they're gonna click it again. Yeah, exactly. And now what I can do is just surge and kill this. But again, they have Zapdos, so I don't think they're gonna do that. But I don't know. They're playing pretty like, play, they're playing pretty aggro, so I feel like they're just gonna stay in. But if they do go Zapdos, then I want to go into Lando. Like, Zapdos just makes the most sense. But I don't know if I want this to get paralyzed. I don't really want this getting paralyzed. Because this could actually be a, a good late game mod. So I'm going to go Lando here, and hopefully they go Zapdos. But if they don't, then I'll be very upset. Okay, good. I can, I'm can. i just going to boom this thing right now. Goodbye. don't got to deal with you. We get a crit, which is very huge. And um, now I believe that this is game with Rillaboom. Should be game with Rillaboom. Um, this might be a problem though, this thing. But actually, it's not that big of a deal. It is faster than half my team. So that's a little worrisome. This is definitely going to be Sash Kadabra, but I don't think that really matters too much. Um, definitely going to go back to Rashifu. If they do go Kadabra, <laughs> they do go Kadabra. <laughs> Alright, I can go Melmetal. I can go into a Melmetal here. They go for Psychic. That's fine. Um,. The only switching would be will be mag, so I'm gonna high horsepower it. Or they just let this die, so never mind. <laughs> they counter I knew it! I knew the shit was counter. <laughs> okay, that might actually matter. That might actually matter because they're counter. Um because they were counter, but I think we still have this though. <laughs> I knew this was counter, man. I should just went for the double iron bash and just killed it, but it's fine. We can knock that out. They have to go back into scissor and go for BP. Um, which I could just go into her Shifu here. Oh, wait, or even this too. And then just, uh, Earthquake. Right? No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. I mean, I can. I definitely can do it. Um, I should do it. But again, I just went with Rudy. So I can just Earthquake in case they want to roost or something. Yeah, that's GG. So Rudy has this game. Yep. Um, I can just Shadow Ball here. And that's a dead Lele. I can flamethrower the mech, um, or even just go into a Rillaboom and then just super power on their uh, Thunderbolt, whatever they do. That's definitely Specs, and that's almost dead. <laughs> almost dead, because it lived on one. <laughs> uh, but again, we have this with uh, with their Shifu, so GG to my opponent, and that's that. So that definitely got a little scary with that Kadabra running that counter. <laughs> that was definitely really funny. Um... But yeah, we won that one, so uh, that's going to be that. So let's get another game going, shall we? Um, the reason why I wanted to use this Boom Offense team was because um, I felt like, well, it's pretty much that I've noticed that with the Sword and Shield metagame, or what I noticed about the Sword and Shield metagame is that there is not enough ways to punish pivoting um, or just like to punish like momentum. So... I felt like running explosion would be the way to, or be one of the ways to actually like stop it a little bit. Like a team like this, you could see that there's a couple pivoting mods. Again, this running, te this running possibly teleport. This probably being like choice scarf with U-turn. So there's like these two are there are going are is going to be my opponent's way of trying to uh, maneuver around me. Um, which they definitely can do, but they can't do it very well because. Rudy actually can cook this team up pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Now against my opponent, I don't know what they're gonna lead. I mean, they're gonna, they have to lead with this one. They have to lead with, um, with Torkoal. So, what I can do is just lead Lando, or even lead, actually I wanna keep Chomp, cause Chomp can still be useful against the Drill, and even on the, uh, and even against Vic. So I think Lando is a safe lead, it's all lead Lando. They are gonna lead, they let Vic. Okay. Um, this could be Final Gambit 2, um, maybe like Final Gambit with Sun, but I don't think I want this dying yet, so I'd rather go Garchomp first just to see if they do pivot, um, they do Final Gambit, that's fine, that's definitely fine, um, they're gonna go into, uh, in the Torkoal, um, oh, they go Lottie, okay, that's fine, they're probably gonna go for Mystical Fire, I could... I mean, they they should Mystical Fire or Draco, or even Psychic. Um, Mystic makes the most sense. 
So, well, Mystic probably doesn't kill. It's going to be either Psychic or that. Psychic or Draco. Again, it's Mystic, Psychic, or Draco. And I think Psychic makes the most sense against me. So, I'm going to go Melmetal. As they do go for Psychic. Cool. That's definitely Specs. Going to Tantic here on their Torkoal coming in. Because that's the only play they can make. They have to go for Torkoal. Um, <clears throat> so, if we catch that, then we're in a perfect spot. Don't gotta deal with that too much. Or don't have to deal with too much. I can also still get rocks up too. With either Chomp or with La or with Lando. So unless this is gonna be like some mixed Latios, which or not mixed, but like um it's not life orb, definitely. It has to be Spectre Scarf. But judging by that damage and also with my Mel Metal being like mostly special defense, I mean especially specially invested, I'm pretty sure that this is specs. Because I did so much. So um So yeah, I definitely feel confident going for Toxic here. I don't really lose a whole lot. And Torkoal just makes the most sense defensively. So if they go into Torkoal, perfect. If I land, this is even this is an even better position to be in, which is amazing. So they are gonna go for rocks. Um I can definitely go chomp here and rock up. They might still go for the lava <laughs> Oh, we lived it. Nice. Okay, I can rock up here safely. Um They might spin though, but they're not gonna be able to spin away my hazards. Nope. Alright, so uh that's gonna be a Dead. Oh wait, they still could. Okay, I was I was very wrong. I thought it was a different position, but I'll still rock up again. Um, I'm definitely still gonna keep these rocks up here. So that was definitely a misplay on my end. Um, I mean they should expect earthquake, so maybe they'll go Lottie instead. They go drill. Okay, and their air balloon. Um. Okay. Uh. You know, I really want to make the play and go on the Rudy right now. I really do. So I'm doing it. You're going to spin or go for Iron Head. Exactly. And Flamethrower is dummy free. Fire Blast is dummy free too on that Blissey. Um, they do go Blissey there. And Blissey is not rocks. Or is not boost. That's good. Um, they're going to port. So I'm going to Flamethrower again on their port. Because that's all they do. <laughs> all Blissey does is port or Toxic. Um, and I definitely see a port coming because why would you not port here? We get a burn on that. Oh, they did. They flunk. What the hell? What? Okay, we just swept. All right, that's game. <laughs> I think we just swept the team. <laughs> I think we just swept. Um, I'm not really sure what just happened here. Lottie's going to come in and go for uh, Psychic. Probably or Draco. Myst Mystic probably. Mystic makes the most sense. I think they're going to Mystic, so I'm going in there, Shifu on Mystic. They actually Psychic, wow, okay, so I just, I think I might have lost my win combo, I'm not too sure yet. Um, definitely going to go for the Double Iron Bash and knock out that Torkoal. So Torkoal's dead. Um, wow, I did not think they'd Psychic again, knowing that, knowing that they saw how much, you know, you know, Psychic did the Mel Metal, but okay. So throwing out her Shifu was definitely part of the plan. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, um. I'm really surprised they did that, though. That is, uh, is definitely weird. Uh, anyways, what happened to my music? <laughs> music? Hello? Oh, it just paused on me. Okay. Um, let's just play... Let's play, uh... Let's play this one. I like that one. Alright. Uh, they went into Drill. Um, I can definitely go right back into Lando, and... I could boom, actually. I don't mind booming. Um, but Quake is still fine. All right, so that's a dead drill. They go, they go, Lottie. I can boom that, and uh, let's see if they lock themselves into. They flamethrower now. Okay, I don't know why they waited so long for that, but uh, that should be GG. Unless this is still faster, which it might be, but I don't know if we'll. Uh, I mean, I know we're dying to knock off. I know that for a fact, but I don't know if this is still fast enough. Let's see. It's times two. It should still be faster than me. Um, Rudy, hold up. This versus Leafeon. So let's see. Leafeon, SD. Uh, let's see with the sun up. Sun. They go six thirty four. Oh wow! I didn't know it would go that fast. Okay. Um. I mean, they're not gonna kill me with anything, so I can just go Melmetal here and then just Toxic. So they have to knock, and uh, I can just double iron. Yeah, that's GG. I did not think that kill. <laughs> I did not think that kill. <laughs> oh, man. Metal Metal is so fun. 
It's such a fun mod. This mod will never stop being fun. Um, we win that one, so that's pretty funny. Let's get another game going, shall we? Um, ladder isn't that, you know, doesn't, doesn't seem to be that open at the moment. Um, yeah, it's running a lot of weird stuff here. Okay. Um, Starmie's cool. I like that. Uh, let's see. Rillaboom isn't that great here. Oh, we might, you guys might be able to see a boom from a blast. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I actually don't think I've clicked boom yet this whole live, but I might be wrong. Count how many times I've actually clicked boom. <laughs> Just count how many times I click boom. Um, anyways, they're going to leave with, uh, they should definitely leave with this. But I could see a cart lead. Cart might be scarf too. A scarf cart would make some sense. Um, but yeah, you either lead this or you lead cart. Um, and I'm assuming that cart is the lead. Even though I really, hmm. I'm leading her Shifu. It's probably gonna be Cart. It's Mamo. Okay, I'm glad I actually got it. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got it right. Um, they have only two switch-ins. <coughs> being this, or being uh, well, I mean it's only this. This is the only this is the only switch in here. Even though I don't know if I really count it as a switch in, but I'm definitely gonna U-turn here. Nope, should have knocked it out. Should have knocked it out. Hundred percent should have knocked it out. So, all right. <sighs> That's definitely not great. Um, I honestly didn't think they'd do that, but they did it anyway. So, could go for rocks, could just earthquake, but I think Ice Shark could kill me. So, it's better to... Um, man, I can't believe that happened. Alright, well, I have to grassy, grassy it, then Cart comes in. And it's still fine. Um, they're going to go for their rocks. I definitely should have just hit the thing. I'll, um, I'll knock in case they want to switch. If they do switch and go cough, that's fine. Um, I think, hold on, if that did that much, I'm not risking it. It's probably safer to go in the blast in case they want to go for a will -O wisp which they should do. That'll be a pain. That's still fine. Um, they can't exactly defend us that well, but they do have Umbreon, so they probably will go Umbreon right now. Definitely safe to go into uh, Chomp, so I'll go Chomp here, because no way you're staying in here and letting me Shadow Ball you. Exactly, I can rock up here now. Um, they go for Wish. That's definitely that not that great done, to deal with. No, no, no. Um, exactly I don't want that Mammal coming in, but I know they're just going to... They're not going to hard switch into it. I mean, they may hard switch into Cough, though. I don't get stuck in the process. I'll Earth click anyway. Okay, so they're going to foul play me. Does some damage. Can't really toxic. It's better to go Mel Muddle then. On the toxic. So let's do that. Um, as they go for their wish again. So I'll toxic now. Does some damage. We miss. So that's nice. I'm gonna try again. They go cart. Um, what's cart gonna do? I'm gonna knock off. You're gonna sacred. If you sacred, then I can go and do this pretty safely. Please don't switch up moves and go for knockoff. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Um, I can flame there here pretty safely, and that's dead. Cool. Um, yeah, they get to go on the Starmie and do and go for some stuff. Um, to scald me. I think. I don't want to. I think I have to go for flamethrower anyway. Let's see, flamethrower it. Volk. Can I still beat Volk? I can still beat Volk. Um, but I have to do it before it can set up. But no, technically, Urshifu just wins anyway. So, I just flamed through here. Oh, uh, we don't... That's very defensive. What the hell? Okay, that's max defense. Um. So then, I could probably go in the Rillaboom then. Or oh, they just forfeit. Okay. So, cool. Um, we win that game. Not bad, I guess. So, cool. I really wanted to boom with Rudy, but <laughs> I guess... <laughs> We're just going to casually 6 so my opponent. So let's get another game going. Again, ladder has not been that active right now. Or isn't being that active right now. But I'm probably going to eat my words after this, after this next game. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm fighting here. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's cool. I mean, it looks okay. It looks kind of cool. Um, Yeah, I don't know what I'm fighting. I'm just going to give them a half one and just move on with my life. So, let's see. We got... 
Huh. They can't handle her Shifu very well. Boom is very... Well, actually, Lando's very strong. Lando is super strong. Um, They're definitely going to lead with this. Like, they have to lead with the Skarn. So, I'm thinking about just leading Rudy anyway. Because they're going to lead Skarn. Okay. Alright. I was wrong. I'm wrong a lot of the time, aren't I? I'm going Garchomp here because they're not staying in here. They have a Tar. They have a Chansey. So, they have all those switch-ins. They do go Tar. I can rock up here as they go into Skarn. Um, it's not really the greatest thing in the world. It's kind of why I, this is kind of why I wanted like Fire Blast on this set because I would be able to actually pressure Skarm and other steals, but especially like hitting Skarm, hurting like not just Skarmy but also hitting Corviknight, which Corviknight is kind of a problem for my team as well. Um, yeah, this is a this is not good. This is definitely no bueno. Um, shoot. All right, what do I do? Um, Skarmory doesn't usually run Brave Bird, so, but they do have Defog. Okay. Well, they're not staying in here, so. I'm going to go, let me see. I'm trying to catch this thing next time. I'm going into their Shifu. And this time, I'm going to U-turn and break the Sturdy. Or, okay, so... We get Amoongus back in. Um, I'm trying to think. I want rocks. I still want rocks up. So I'm still going to try and get them up. Um, again, Skarm can come back in. <sighs> Man, this thing is a problem. <laughs> this thing is such a problem. And I don't know why he keeps trying to defog. So let's see. Defog. He keeps defogging. Okay. So he's home. Okay, so I probably could have prevented that maybe. Um, well, actually, no, this is still fine. Um, I'm going into Blast, because they have to, you know, make the... Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, that's irritating. Rocks are going back up. I'm just gonna, like... I could SD and then boom it, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna boom right now. Um, Rocks are still staying up. I'm just gonna boom it. Alright, so at least Skarm is heavily weakened to the point where now I can just um, Surging Strike it and they just forfeit, so cool. Um, we can just, you know, Surging Strike, they have to go into Amoongus or they just leave. And I definitely think they left after seeing that, so uh, so yeah, that's why you got Boom on this team. You got Boom to break stuff like that, you know, break Skarmory, break Corviknight even. Oh, well, I don't think you can really break Corviknight after plus two. I mean, it still, did, it still did a lot to Skarm. That Skarm was definitely like max defense. Um, but yeah, I think we made my opponent quit. Um, which is kind of funny, actually. <laughs> no, they saw our Shifu and was just like... They saw our Shifu after that boom and were just like, Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Nah, to the na na na. I know I'd be like that after seeing that shit. But, um, but yeah, I, uh, I think we won. Oh, no, they came back. Never mind. We're going to Surging because we have to. I could U-turn, but, like, what's the point in U-turning? Like, I don't really see the point in U-turning here. Especially because this is their only defogger. So, it's definitely better just to Surging here. If they go Amoongus, cool. I don't really care. Um, they do. Okay. Um, I can go back into Melmetal. They might stay in, or they might switch. I'm going in Blast, actually. Blast is better. It's four. Okay, they're going back into Tar, so I'm going back into Urshifu. As they do go tar, and I can just surging. Mmm, they're catching me. They're catching on. They are catching on. Yes, they are. Um, I kind of want to do it again. No, nah, it's not. It's not safe. It's not safe doing that again. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because they could do that. Um, let's see. We're definitely in a good spot. It's just that tar that's still healthy. Going back into it. Okay, then you turn. I'll just Yui here. Okay, I don't know why that's why that's why he's doing that. Um, let's see. I uh, hmm. Spore, Giga Drain, Protect. They have to have Sludge Bomb. I think I can just go you because you don't run speed, and I can just kill you because Amoongus never runs speed. Like they never run speed, so this should drop. Like <laughs> they go Chansey and die. <laughs> Um, I guess they're gonna toss me. Oh, they wish. Okay, that might 
hurt me a lot. Watch this shit. Boom. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, we're in a bad spot. We're in a very bad spot. So they're toxic, default, grues. So they definitely have spikes. Um, actually, no, they don't have spikes at all. They're just body press. So that toxic is really irritating. Very irritating. Um, fuck, that's very irritating. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me, man? I thought high horsepower would do enough, but I probably should have just switched into Rudy. Um, hmm. Alright, um... I'm gonna toxic just to see what they do. They just stay in. I'm gonna keep toxicking. They press. Okay. So I'll go into Skarmory then. Or go into Chomp here. Um. Fuck. Okay. They're catching on now, and that's kind of a problem. Um. That's a very big problem. Very, very big problem. Ugh. Shoot. Okay, well. You go for defog again. I'm going back into chomp. Um, if I can just knock this off, I'm gonna have to knock it. That's it. I have to knock it right now. Yeah, I have to knock this thing. They go to Moongus though. Um, I have to go back into chomp. They go toxic. Man, this is just irritating. Um, it's just this toxic stall shit. I can't even go blast for real. Um, I should have taken my kill when I had the chance against that thing. Or no, when when uh when Blissey was in, or when uh, yeah when Blissey was in, or whatever this was, Chansey. Um, this is such a trash set. They really can't do anything to me. Um, besides, of course, Toxic. I'm trying to think. If I get rocks up here, like, I'm in a good spot. It's just the matter of actually staying in that good spot. Um. Hmm. Ugh, this is such a trash set. Let's see. Going Blast. Alright, um... Fuck. That taunting is really irritating, man. Um... I have to go back into Tar, but if I go... Going Mel. Since they want to play the Tar game. Um... Just trying to think, like... Going back into Rillaboom. I'm just gonna SD now. Because they're going to try and go back to Amoongus. Yeah. Um. What do I do? If I just had rocks up, this would be so much easier. Going back into Chomp. Just need recovery back. Um. Uh. Let me see. Going back into Mel. Damn it, I fucked up. I fucked up there. I fucked up there. I fucked up there again. Oh, God. And he... Okay, good. I'm glad he missed, but... Okay. 48. Alright, come on, game. Give me that high roll. Fuck. Alright. And this bitch ass is gonna do that now. So, um... I don't know if we're winning now. I mean, I think we still can, but it's going to be very close now because of the way he's playing. Um, I'll just sack this and then make the... Uh, I mean, I could superpower. I, I still could. But, like, it's kind of a waste now. I'll do it anyway. I'll still knock because... Either he protects again or he goes Skarmory and takes a lot of recoil. Which I think I have to go for at this point, so... I should have knocked first, then this would have been much easier. Um, man, I 
can't believe I threw it away. He went, yeah, he went sh uh, that. Okay. Even if I go chomp, like... I want to go chomp, but I can't make the chomp play. If I power, then I die. And he could also just pivot, too. He'll probably pivot, but he might just stay in. He gyroed and I die. Awesome. Alright, we're not winning this game now. Because I can't get rocks up and Skarmory's still healthy. And Tar's still, like, around. So, this game is looking like an L at this point. Um, Definitely looking like an L. Uh, so, I'm just going to go for CC at this point. Um, I mean, they're going to sack this. Like, that's the only play they can make. Just sack it. They could also still go Skarmory anyway. But, after CC... Because they're going to sack that and then go into Blast. Um, I can't stop Blast. So GG. They won. Um, it was all my fault. I should not have let that... Um, should not have let this stay healthy. But also, I really tried that play when I went for high horsepower on Skarmy. That was not worth it. Um, I can still maybe get out of this alive. But it's going to be incredibly difficult. So I'll go Blast. As they go for the Giga Drain, and yep, they go back into Tar and uh, can't do much about it. Um, go back into you, try and get some more recovery back. Um, oh, they just tech, of course. All right, yeah, um, definitely my fault here. Going to Mel. It's a Giga. They get a lot back too. Um, go back in a blast. All right. Um, it's gonna flamethrower anyway. Yeah, they just they have nothing to lose by doing that. So it's whatever. I lost. Maybe they'll do something dumb and go back into Skarmory. That'd be really funny. It's just seeing how my pattern went. But like, they lose nothing by doing it. But if they do it, that's on them. Yeah, exactly. Alright, we get a burn, but like it didn't matter. Um Alright, so that's an that's an L on our end. I'll do one more game because I don't like how that ended, so just one more and then that'll be that. I definitely had my had my chance, but I got too cocky. <laughs> I definitely had my chance, but I really got too cocky in the end. So this will be the last game for the live. And uh we're gonna take this one a little slow. So Okay, we got some semi stall, it looks like. Actually, no, this is just balance. This is definitely just balance. Um, Blast looks pretty solid, actually. Uh, Lando is going to destroy this team, but that Skarmory has to go. Like, I need to knock it early if possible. Um, if I can get the knockoff early, then I'll be in a much better spot than I was in the previous game. Um, they'll probably leave with these two, or one of these two. Most likely going to be the Hippo anyway. Um, since my team is just so physically oriented, so they'll probably leave with uh, Hippo. Before they lead with Skarm. But then again, Skarm makes sense in general. So they probably will lead Skarm. Um, but again, Hippo still makes sense though. So I'll lead Lando. But if they lead Skarm, I'm going to be in a bad spot. They led uh, Pex, which is odd. Um, I'm going to rock up here. They should fear Earth. I mean, they're not going to fear anything. They're they're Pex. <laughs> like Pex, Pex actually fears nothing. We're going to try that scenario again where I boomed on the Skarmory. So we're going to do that one more time. Um, that way we'll be in a much better spot than before. So um, I definitely have to make that play first. So they will go Scar. They're not going Scar. They're going to knock me off. Okay. So I'm going to SD first. They went for what? Recover. Okay. Well, they're definitely switching. They have to switch in the Scar. So I'm still going to Earthquake. I'm going to Boom now. They might predict it though. They should predict it. Like, if this gets boomed, then they lose. They actually just lose to, um, they will lose to Rillaboom. Uh, Rillaboom plus Chomp. So I don't think they're going to do that yet. Um, that just doesn't make any sense, right? They have to switch. Like, there's no reason for you to make this play. For you to just go scar me and then just get boomed on. Um, so I'm going to play it safe and just do it again. Okay, they re actually were risking it. So I could have killed that. Um, I'm really surprised they just aren't gonna do it. Like, again, if this dies, they just lose. All right, whatever. 
So they they just roosted. That's that makes sense. I could have done it again then. I should have done it again. I'll go Rudy. Um, and then on the hippo play, I can probably go into um. Actually, they're gonna go Pex. They're just gonna go Pex first. Um. And it might be better. No, going Skarm doesn't really open anything. Or going Melmetal doesn't help. Doesn't help me at all. Um, at least not in this situation yet. Um, I'm trying to think. Hippo still makes sense though. So I'm going into Garchomp on the Hippo because they have to go into that or they go into Pex. Like, there's no reason for them to just predict. Yeah. Oh, they're Boots. That's whack. All right, well, they're gonna go back into Skarm. Um, I wanna, oh, this thing is such a problem. The fact they're Boots, too, is actually a pain. Um, I'm gonna go back near Shifu. Probably a bad play. Nope, it was a good play. Um, because they have to either take this CC or they have to go Pex. They have to go Pex, like, that's their only Twitch. That's literally their best switching to me. So, I'm gonna U-turn. Exactly. And, um, and this time, um, I'm gonna go into Rillaboom and just SD up, because they have to go back into Skarm, or they just, well, I mean, they, they probably still can stay in and just go for knockoff. So, it's still not the worst thing in the world, but they can't really defend against this. Um, especially because I can knock this off and kill it. There you go. Finally, the threat has been has been removed. So this is much much better now. Um, they get to go Coco and remove my screen. They're also uh, what's it called? That one thing. Um, forgot what the thing's called. They're gonna go for Dazzle, probably. I mean, they should go for Dazzle. That's their only play to make. So we're gonna go into this now as they Dazzle. Um, gonna taunt you because it's relatively well. It's not relatively free. Um. But I really do want to Toxic, because if I Toxic, then I get to get rid of the Hippo. I'm going to Protect first and see what they do. They do go Pex. I'm going to go back into Rillaboom. As they, as my opponent is just DCing. Um, but hopefully they do come back. I'm actually liking how this game is going so far. Granted, I lost Lando for no reason. I should have just boomed, like, turn one, or that turn. Um, that turn, it came in, because I could have killed it there. Um, that was at plus three, and that was and that was without the uh, the uh, the normal gem. So yeah, again, explosion is a lot weaker than it was in the past. So it's just not as good of a utility move as it used to be. Again, it can it's a really good like surprise factor. Like a lot of people don't think about it. Um, but again, the power behind it is just not as strong. So sometimes it's just not a move that's really worth using. But I wanted to use it because I thought it'd be fun, just in the current meta game and just how you know things are at things are in the moment or are at the moment so um so yeah um do they come back they do not all right well that's gonna be the end of the showdown live if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video let me know again what's your favorite modern boomer like i know it's a weird like what's your favorite modern boomer do you like boom lando do you like again lacephalon even though i didn't get to boom with it but um it did have it. It did have it, and I was willing to use it, especially on that Volcarona game that we had. Again, if that Volcarona set up on me, I was going to switch back and then boom on it. Um, granted, they probably could have doubled, or they could have went for a um, for a second QD, but I don't know. The way how they were playing, they, it felt like they were just more of the, I'm just going to hit you right now type, but uh, but yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you, get, if you did, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video, and if this is your first time looking uh, watching this vid, and you're new to the channel, you know, feel free to subscribe. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to reaching 400 subscribers uh, very soon. Uh, we are less than 30 subscribers away, so I would love to hit that goal as soon as we can. Uh, since, you know, summer's still early, and I want to try and hit my uh, my main summer goal. But 400 is the goal we got to hit right now. So once we get that 400 goal, we're just set to go for the summer. So, uh, so yeah, let's do that, guys. Um, or ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, so, yeah, that's that. Be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next showdown live. Peace out.